Hi, I'm David Lederberg with Smart Charge America here today to talk about the new Electrify America home charging unit. Just to give you a background, Smart Charge America is a company we're completely focused on the installation of electric car charging stations. So uh, definitely excited always to look at a new charging unit. So this specifically is from Electrify America. And if you're not aware, it is a company set up by the, uh, as a result of the Dieselgate or VW emissions cheating scandal. Um, they're completely focused on the, uh, basically the adoption of electric vehicles, specifically through charging, which includes a lot of public charging, but this is them first getting into home charging. So. So this uh, unit comes in two boxes. Uh, one of the things that we notice comes with a back docking unit. Neat. I like the idea. A lot of chargers I'm seeing are starting to be manufactured in this way. So basically it has this unit that specifically this is what you mount to the wall. Um, and then you have the front unit that clips into it. And this has this mechanism built into it that allows the front unit to lock into it. It's spring loaded. Uh, has a good honeycomb structure on the back for structural rigidity, which is really good if you're going to be mounting this on maybe an uneven surface. Um, it could be a, a brick or wall, rock wall or um, some decorative facing. Uh, has this, uh, comes with this NEMA 1450 plug, uh, definitely overbuilt uh, size and uh, insulation for the application, which is certainly not a bad idea. Um, but a lot of the you know, connect connection points in here, we could hardwire this too based on the setup. So you know, there's an option. Also has some of the internals as far as communications are concerned from what it looks like. Uh, this has built in Bluetooth. Wi-Fi capability, NFC, or near field communication. Uh, doesn't appear that all this is currently active, but it, from what it looks like, they're gonna be adding this uh, type of integration into the mobile application that they have. So I think it'll add some additional functionality later. But pretty simple, you mount this to the wall, you have the connection points for the power to be supplied to the front unit. And so it, again, pretty forward. It also comes with a little mounting a template so you can use it make it easy to mount it to the wall uh, this second box I, I like this is basically the main unit pretty nice we got the need help a uh, little documentation there a little do installation guide user guide and then we have the main unit which uh, you know one of the first things is just pulling picking it up notice the thickness so for anyone with perhaps a garage that has a, a little tight on the sides you might want to think about that it'll stick out a fair bit uh, but other than that I, I really like it it's simple it's got this light bar all the way around the edges it's it's pretty bright uh, easily identifiable you have the charge uh, holster here where you can store the connector when you're not using it. It's kind of nice. It is spring-loaded. Um, not sure why they chose this. Maybe for it is rated for outdoor, so maybe they didn't want anything getting inside. That's fine. I mean, I'm just sometimes I get a little concerned about some of these spring-loaded mechanisms handling, uh, you know, all the different weather elements uh, being mounted outside, but you know, so far it feels pretty good. It's light, not too much uh, uh, to push against. Um, it has the connection points in back here. It also has some communication wire and also the points that actually get into the dock unit. Really good seal edge around the back. So I like to see that to keep the, any of the elements moisture, uh, any dampness inside to keep that out is a, definitely a good way to approach that. Other thing I noticed, this cable, it's got a really good stout connector. It's one of the things that get most abuse over time in our experience, um, but the cable as well, that's one of the things that tends to die. This is very much overbuilt. It's actually rated at a thousand volts. That is unusual, unnecessary, but you know, it definitely adds a lot more insulation. You'll see this is a lot thicker than the typical charger of this amperage. So not what I'd expect, but you know, it's definitely overbuilt. There's nothing wrong with that. It's still very pliable, malleable. It's not too heavy. It's the right size wire inside. It's just kind of all the insulation around it makes it a lot thicker. But 25 feet long, definitely more than enough for majority of the mounting applications out there. So uh, we actually got a chance our test environment and try it out. And so far it's really easy and given us good results. Thank you everyone for taking the time to check out our video today. Please subscribe to our channel where I'll have plenty of additional videos coming out in the future. And as always, check out our website as well. Thank you.